So in this video, I want to cover partnership debts in an LLC. So this is an LLC multi-member that's taxed a partnership. So it hasn't elected to be an S-Corp or a C-Corp. Uh, the reason why the categorization of debts is important is because debts in a partnership are added to a partner's outside tax basis in the entity. Um, and whether they're recourse or non-recourse also impacts a partner's at-risk tax basis. Um, so, uh, just have one slide here. I want to cover high level the difference between the non recourse and recourse debts um, and some uh, simple examples that illustrate uh, when you might find one that's categorized as recourse versus non recourse. So, a non recourse debt uh, is a partnership liability if no partner or person related to that partner bears the economic risk of loss. Okay, so a non-recourse debt is a liability within the partnership and only the assets within the partnership can be used to pay off that debt. Uh, and you find that definition in Treasury Reg section uh, 1.752-3. So if we look at an example here, we have uh, Fake Consulting LLC, it's a four member LLC, taxes a partnership. Uh, the partnership has accounts payable at the end of the year uh, totaling 15000 right? So uh, the partnership is an accrual basis taxpayer. It deducted all those costs, so that fifteen might be uh, labor or supplies or office expense, um, right, where they receive the goods and services, but they just haven't paid the bill yet. So they've got accounts payable at the end of the year, 15000 um, So these liabilities are non-recourse debts to the members uh, because neither member is personally liable for the debts, right? So if these are all debts of third parties, um, let's say, you know, third party vendors that you just owe money to, the contracts between the vendor and the partnership, um, the vendor hasn't asked for any kind of personal guarantee from one of the owners, the, the, the vendor isn't a related party, uh, none of that applies. So if that's the case, then accounts payable is generally just a non-recourse liability for the entity. Um, so now let's look at recourse debts here. So a partnership liability is going to be a recourse debt uh, to the extent a partner or a related person to that partner bears economic risk of loss. Okay, and so again, the, the definition there is in 752-2. Uh, so if we look at an example here, we have the, sa the same uh, consulting LLC, four-member LLC. The partnership goes out and borrows 150 grand from a bank, so it's a third-party bank, and they need the money to finance the expansion of their business. So the loan um, is an unsecured loan in that the partnership entity itself hasn't pledged any assets, but every LLC member that's an owner in the company uh, had to sign a personal guarantee for the note, okay? Um, and, and this is incredibly common, right? Banks know that if they loan money to a, an LLC and the LLC just collapses, uh, it's likely that um, you know the banks can't get their money back, and so what they do is to ensure that they can go after you know everybody to recover the loan. They will require personal guarantees of owners of a small, closely held company. Um, so not not uncommon at all. Um, so the liability in this context is going to be recourse debt to each partner because they've all signed this personal guarantee. Um, and so lastly here, non-recourse debts can become recourse to an individual partner uh, if the arrangement includes one of these following. So um, if you have a partner uh, that loans money to the partnership, um, then that's going to be recourse debt to that partner because they bear the risk of loss. Uh, if the partner is related to the party that loaned the money, it can become recourse. Uh, and then lastly, if a partner just steps in and guarantees the debt, uh, then that also can make a recourse. So, uh, you know, if, for example, um, the company needed to open a credit card, let's say. So the, the LLC opens a credit card in its name and EIN, uh, but in order to get it, they, the credit card company needed somebody's uh, personal credit information, social security number, and a guarantee from that partner. Then, in that context, that personal uh, that person would be the, it would be recourse debt to that partner because they had to step in and sign a guarantee for for that credit card account for the LLC. Another example here: um, Fake Consulting LLC, four member LLC, tax of partnership. If one of the members loans fifty thousand to the partnership, right? So that'd be the first point here, right? So if you have um, what is otherwise a non-recourse debt um, because there's no personal guarantee in there, uh, but because this is a related party loan, that, that LLC member that loaned the money, it would be recourse debt to that lending partner because they are the creditor. 
Okay, so that covers it. I hope that was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment below, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.